All right, guys, back out here with Mr. Robert McMillan. Appreciate you coming down here, Good man. Good to see you, Eric. Appreciate Always you. a pleasure. Um, so Robert um, coaches at Irving Golf Club. That's right. Just outside of Dallas, uh, Fort Worth, Texas. As we mentioned in some of the previous videos, he's a decent player. Maybe he played in the British Open. You know, he used to play with a guy named Seve Ballesteros. Don't mention the year <laughs> yeah. I played in the Open or we're done. So you were in there. Thank, yes, I, I was. I played in zero. It was fun. British, uh, the Open. It's not the British Open. Thank you. The um, Open. Robert has me beat with that one. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how you can improve your contact. It's really something you can do at home, at the range, or wherever you're at for a few minutes a day that you can start to see noticeable differences <clears throat> with your contact. So, Robert, obviously you and I have been coaching, right, for a little while. Right. Um, and we see a lot of the same issues come up. And with the golf swing, we know there's lots of ways to get to uh, the job done, right? There's lots of sure, different examples sure. to get the job done. But with that said, there are a few key fundamental things that it's pretty hard to get away with. Right. And right. certain things you kind of have to do pretty good. Yep. And what we're talking about today specifically is how we get through the ball into the follow through. Um, and so, you know, what wh this topic we're talking about, really the arm straight pass impact, right? Would you agree that when you coach, the greater majority of players that struggle with contact, consistency, low point, et cetera, look a certain way past impact? No question. I, I think I would say if you just threw in 10 students that were average golfers, seriously, eight would have the wrong structure of the arms. Yeah. I always talk about the slice of pizza. It's, it's a great look, that slice of pizza. And, and when you're watching players and you slow down their swing, really good players, you just don't see this very often. There are one or two players that bend the left arm a little bit. Lee West would be one of them that has to bend forward a little bit more yeah. to get to the ground, but we're not, it's something we wouldn't teach. Right. What we teach is we teach this slice of pizza where the arms, that's our ultimate goal is just after we hit the golf ball, having the arms both straight and the club head pointing more down towards the ground. Yeah. Now I like to think of that visual past the ball as having some sand in the shaft. So okay. if you poured sand in the shaft, if you look at there folks, there's a little hole right there. I was going to say pour whiskey in there, but I'm whiskey Scottish and it wouldn't drop because <laughs> I'd get to it before it fell, right? Yeah. But if there was sand in there, to get the proper structure of your arms when you're hitting a shot, the sand would stay in the shaft for a fairly long period of time mm. through the golf ball. Okay. Now, as soon as I start to bend my left elbow, here comes the sand. Yes. It's pouring out. So that's what we see a lot of on the range with, with golfers. Now, okay. it's very important for us to keep those arms straight. We've got to rotate. To keep the arms straight, you've got to rotate. I'm a poet and didn't know I was it, right? Say, did you do that on so, purpose there? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, not, this is not a slice of pizza. That's a full pizza. That's a round yeah, okay. pizza. <laughs> this is the slice of pizza, and that's what we're trying to get. And I think the point you mentioned there is really important, and, and we're going to dive into a drill or two of like, you know, hey, okay, I know what I'm supposed to do. Okay, I see these visuals of these, these players doing this. Now, if I'm the player who does that, how the heck do I you know, start, right? First thing, definitely great, simple drill. Stick the club in your belly button. Yeah. You have one? I got a little belly, belly button, button okay. in there. I have two of them, so I'll put it in the one, it in the, one on the left. Uh -huh. And I want what I do, go ahead, Eric, if you want to do it, go ahead and reach down all the way down the club. Yeah. Do not make a backswing. I just want you to Go turn forward. and go forward with both arms straight. What a great feeling, isn't it? Now, yeah. here's what I want you to do now. You ready? Uh -huh. I want you to bend your left arm and do it. See it pulling on your shirt? Yeah. Now you can see it tugging on your shirt right there, right? Now, go ahead and turn through it with your arm straight and it will stay in your belly button. Uh, that okay. is such a great look. This would be the bad. That would be the bad. So now you haven't rotated. The club heads past your hands because you broke down your arm so you won't do that when you it's against your belly button yeah and yeah. this sort of gives you the both the rotation and the arm straight together. it certainly does okay. that that's a great place to start is to feel that turning your body's turning yep and yeah, you've like got that. that nice slice of pizza slice of pizza not the whole pie the, the, the pie, because okay, it catches my shirt, that's yeah. the whole purpose of it. <laughs> yeah. it, gets, it gets caught, but it doesn't get caught. See, it's mm. not getting caught, not getting caught, not getting caught. The club's pointing downwards. 
as soon as I start to bend, there it goes. Yeah, I like Now that. it's pointing way over here. And that structure, I'm telling you, you will hit much more crisp shots. You'll get ball then divot more often if you can feel rotation with your arm straight into that slice of pizza. Keep thinking pizza slice, not the whole pizza. Yeah. Let me hop in there, Robert, for a second and, and hit one or two with that same sure. feel if you want to hop over here. So if I'm if I'm learning this, let's say I'm, you know, I'm like one of these golfers that I saw in some of your pictures, right? Like here. Right, right. And so I'm I'm doing a couple of these to get a feel. Beautiful. And then I'm assuming the idea would be I'm kind of taking that and I'm starting with some little half ones. Yeah, I, I wouldn't same. follow through past your waist okay. until we get into this. Just go maybe 50% of the speed and then stop at waist height if you can. Yeah, okay. When you're starting to build this up. So just like first, can I do this at this level? Yeah, just a little miniature swing. Oh, excellent. That was really good there. So my arms are fully, and just to scale that, I mean, I hit a seven iron there probably 90 yards. Yeah, right? exactly. Just a little sh easy little shot. Arms Learning to rotate straight. your body and extend your arms into that pizza. There it is. There's a pizza slice. Now, I'm going to do one more like this. And I know you have another drill that I saw you doing with the yep. ball in front, which I want to show them as well. But this would be a really awesome place to start. Yeah, right? absolutely. Okay, so same feeling of the follow through. So I would probably start with maybe like, let's say, three or four swings with the club in your belly button. And then three or four swings with a little half swing with the same feel like the club was in your belly button. Okay. And then switch back and forward until we start to build this up slowly. Kind of circuit. So you it. get the feeling of that arms being straight. Love it. And then how do we do the ball in front uh, sure. drill like this? So if you put a ball, let's say, we're going to hit this shot. I'll put a ball here. Let's say about, uh, what's that, three or four feet in front of me? Yep. And I'm not going to hit the ball here. I'm just going to swing past the ball here. But the feeling is, here's this little half swing again, right? See how I'm pointing the club mm. head to that ball? OK. The sand would fall out the shaft there, wouldn't it? Mm. I haven't got my hands to waist height yet, but the head is way above my hands. I want to keep the head in line with my hands. That straight line release right there is such a great feeling. So just hitting shots and actually stopping very short in your follow through to you get the feeling of that club pointing to the ground because I'll tell you, as soon as that bends, here goes that club again up in the air. It's nowhere near pointing to that ball. I want it to point down and you can actually hit shots like that. The ball will go really low. That's yeah. okay. You're just going to practice. You've got the club in your belly button. Practice, practice a few times, then a half swing, stopping at waist tight with the arms straight. And then to take it to the next level is to start to feel Little half shot, mm. point it down. And you'll notice how this left wrist is not going that way. Yeah. Because I'm trying to point the club to that ball. It wouldn't happen if my left wrist caved in. Right? I'm so I'd love to see you just yeah. kind of just do that. <laughs> Try not to hurt yourself, yeah, right? No. That'd be great. <laughs> right, yeah, right. Yeah, OK. I also like that, you know, having to throw the brakes on there a little bit. Absolutely. Not that I need to go as, you know, I can slow the speed down, but the, it's hard for me to do that, stop there with my arm straight and not have turned. Right, right. right? Yeah, I like, like that. A lot of these things I'd like you to do, Robert, you kind of get a couple of things for free. You know, some of these drills that you Of show, course you do, you know? yeah. And it's one thing fixes another. Yeah, I like that. So we're going to go here just as a little sort of punch shot drill. Correct. Now, the feeling is, That's go ahead, solid. if you don't mind, would you set up just again? Yeah. So think of it this way. If I put the club, if I put my club right there, and you were trying to hit that ball under there, mm. what would you do more of? I would do Try to hit under there now. more. That's that. right. Yeah, That's yeah. right. So where's the club head pointing? It's Down. pointing this way. It's not pointing up. It's not so up here. you could think about if you were trying to punch your uh, uh, shot under a tree, Yes. You know, if you add loft, it's going to hit branch, right? But see how low that ball went? Yes. That's the feeling. I'm not saying you play golf that way. I'm saying is that's the feeling to get pizza arms and not the whole pizza, right? And the whole point of this is solid contact, right? Ball, then divot, yeah. compression, squeeze, and getting the low point in front of the ball. And obviously, if I were to do this way and my arms bent, right, and the club head passes, that's bad contact, adding loft. Adding loft. Bad. If you're hitting the ball under a tree, you would catch the top branch here because you've added loft. 
Just and keep thinking about, I'm going to hit this ball really low by pointing the club down towards the ground as I rotate my body downwards. Beautiful, beautiful. And a lot of you watch, and you probably have had that sensation when you pull it off, or like you hit the punch shot underneath the tree or back out in the fair, and you're like, oh my gosh, like that's the most solid shot I hit all day. Right? Sometimes people try the punch, they get the top shot, but you, when you pull off that punch shot, you're like, oh my gosh, did that come off compressed? So if I'm practicing this through impact, right, I want the arm straight, to your point again, just to reiterate, I'm gonna do a couple to, to realize, hey, for me to have my arms straight, I have to have the turn. And then to really accentuate it, I like that, hitting underneath a branch, having the ball out in front, feeling the club head lower. And once I can do this, mm. right, it's easy to do this. Like I can add on a follow through to that feel quite easily. So why don't you do just another little tiny one and let the sand spill out the shaft early. So that's what we don't want, yeah, we don't, right? Not this. See how the sand would pour out the shaft? Yeah. Or whatever was in the shaft? Yeah. Now go out, yeah, you go. Whiskey. So you kept it in there. Yeah, beautiful. I'll do one more. Whiskey, yeah, we don't want to spill the whiskey. <laughs> so the club has never spilled low. whiskey. <laughs> ever spilled whiskey. I'm going to take that same feel and bring it all the way into a full swing now. Yeah, see, like that's very easy for me. Now, I do this for a living. Right. But I can take that feel and be like, well, how do I hit a full swing shot, right? Right. You can just keep turning, let the arms fold up. The right. arms are going to fold. Not that hard to do. And don't fold early. Don't fold early. Mr. Robert, thank you. We're going to put Robert's info down below. Um, if you have any questions about any of this stuff, as always, leave a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching.